Four women, equipped with knives, sit peeling cassava. It's a huge pile, and this was brought in from the field several miles away. This community, Arua in the Bunahafu region, is one of the main producing centers. This heap is ready for grinding. Like palm oil, it's one of the main sources of employment for rural women. And as seen here, this factory is largely operated by women. Adjoa Florence is a mother of four. She has been in the Gayo business for three years. The stress on her face tells it all. She spends close to 16 hours daily here. I bring one bag. 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 I bring one the process is now almost a hobby, and I had a rare opportunity to experience how it's done. That's extremely hot, but if you've ever been to the secondary school in Ghana, um, you've ever eaten gari ever in your life, today I'm telling you how gari is made. This is the home of gari in Ghana, from the raw cassava to this stage, where I have to continue to turn. I don't want to get my gari bent, but this is the final stage. After this stage, the gari would have become what you'd see in the market. So the next time that you are haggling over the price of gari in the market, remember, a lot of hard work goes into it. This bag on the open market is sold between 125 and 150 cities. On a good day, over 100 bags are sold. But getting the product on the market isn't easy. For now, they receive financial and technical support from the agri ministry and effort, but that may not be enough. As the women of Harua pack up after a hard day's work, they are confident that with Gary, they will continue to live, at least make some money to fend for themselves and their families.